Hello everybody, welcome to Mark's Remarks. Today I'm going to be making a gammon casserole. Now, it involves a, uh, what I'll do, I'll show you, it involves some gammon of course. Uh, I've got two bits here. Now, I started to grill these. Come here. Uh, I started to grill them and then after about 10 minutes I figured, well that's not going to be the best option so I'm going to put them in the frying pan. To, to cook, which is what I'm going to what I'm going to do now, and then uh, once that when they're cooked, I'm going to cut them up into little pieces, and then put them in the. So I'm wandering around a lot here in the kitchen. Um, I'm going to cut them up, put them in my casserole dish that you've seen. There you go. You can pick these up out of the charity shop. Oh, this one, this one's. There you go, that size, ran out of fibre. Okay, so cut it up, put it in the dish, along with the carrots and onions. And when I put it in the oven, I'll put the potatoes in. Now, these are not roasted potatoes as such, you know, the pre-made ones. These ones, I had to buy them the potatoes, cut them up, and I've sprinkled some, uh, some of that vegetable oil, just regular frying pan vegetable oil on the potatoes so they'll go in the same time as the uh, the casserole dish uh, let me see oh and I'll um, I, I, there isn't really a casserole mix for gammon there's one for chicken there's one for beef there's one for sausages and there's one for pasta I think or some kind of cheese mix for pasta uh, so what I'm gonna I'm gonna use the beef one Right, you've seen this in the other videos, the other casserole dishes. I'm going to put this in with 300 millilitres of water. Put it all in, and later on, half an hour before the end, that's when I throw in the frozen veg. As you can see, the meat is frying away. There we are. I'm, I'm going to cut it into the usual small pieces. That way, at the end of the year, when I come to eat it, every, every spoon will have some meat on it, will have some veg on it, will have a potato on it. Yeah, it's all good. Okay. What I do, I've actually put now the, the in the pack of gammon there was there was two and a half slabs. I've you I've put one and a half in here. I'm gonna use the other one for another another dish tomorrow. Anyway, so I'm just gonna fry that up. That'll take a few more minutes. Okay then. There you go. The meat is cooked. Pretty much uh, yeah, I mean, you know, it's over 95% cooked. Pretty much near 100. All right, but uh, I'm going to put it in the oven, don't forget. So, um, about an hour and, uh, well, I don't know. I, I don't actually know how long this will go in for. Because the chicken and the beef take, you know, took an hour and 45. So I figure this will be at least that. Or maybe, you know, I mean, not much more than that. Anyway, there's the meat, carrots and onions, there we are. Now, off camera, I mixed up the uh, the beef casserole, there you go, you get this from the co-op, three for a pound, and there's like four different uh, types. I put, what it, it says, it says put this in for 300... Um, or put 300 millilitres of water in here. Now because I'm using gammon and it's a little bit more salty than most, I put 400 millilitres of water. So, you know, we'll see how that, we'll see how that works. There you go. I've, uh, yeah, the, the, the onions are sort of big. I don't know if you can see that. That's how, you know, the that size, you know, they're pretty chunky. I haven't cut the onions small. The carrots, uh, chunky size okay so that is that and next thing is is going in the oven go in there and uh, mix it around every 20 minutes now that's gonna that's gonna look a little bit awkward because every so often 
I touch the uh, the pause and it doesn't pause so I end up talking while it's paused and then doing stuff while it's still recording without realizing anyway so hopefully that will won't be too bad but uh, but yeah as I was gonna say I'm gonna put this in for about an, an, an hour and hour and a half ish and look at the potatoes every sort of 20 minutes okay it's been about an hour and ten or so there we go uh, That's what the casserole looks like now. It looks pretty good. Mm. I tell you what, there's a lot more. As you remember, I put in 400 milliliters of water instead of the, the required three because it was a salty meat. Uh, but when the result is, there's a lot more gravy in there than the other dishes. But that should be should be a good thing. Because that'll loosen up the potatoes. Okay, now uh, now I'm going to pour in some frozen veg. All right, some frozen peas. Whoop. Oh boy, that was a lot. And some sweet corn. Now there's not a lot of sweet corn, but I have another bag of sweet corn, so I'll put some of those in. Okay, some uh, broccoli. some broccoli in there uh, what else okay I'm gonna put a might put a little bit more sweet corn okay I'll just put a little bit more sweet corn from this big bag that I've just opened and now I'm gonna put some cauliflower this is where all that extra juice comes in because it's going to need some juice to, to cover all this frozen veg. Okay, I'm just going to get, I should have, I should have taken this out. Mind you, last time I put it in frozen and it come out fine. Okay, so I'm just going to basically cover everything in, in the sauce and the meat and the, uh, the hot juices just so it gets to, uh, Cover. Okay, I'm going to do that and I'll come back. Now, back in the oven for approximately 30 minutes. There we are. First out of the oven is the potatoes. Now, these have, uh, as usual, these have been done with the, uh, I, I didn't mention before, they're always done with these skins on. I never, never peel the, uh, the potatoes. One, because the, the fibre is in the potato, in the skins. And two, I just can't be bothered, you know, it's just a waste of time, a waste of potatoes, you know. You uh, peel the skin of the potato, you get rid of like one tenth of each potato. Anyway. Okay, so that's the potatoes. Now, there we are with the, uh, with the casserole. Get the other glove on, there we go. Now, that looks, that's quite a dinner. That looks really good and wholesome. Okay, I'll give it a... Tell you what though, it really, yeah, it paid to put that extra water in there because there's a lot of good gravy in here as well. Which, uh, which is gonna be handy, you know, to put all over the potatoes. Now, this is going to be a bit, a bit awkward, I'll come back in a sec. There we have it. That's the gammon casserole. Now, so we've we got, we got gammon, uh, carrots, onions, and then as an addition, got broccoli, cauliflower, peas, sweet corn. <laughs> so, yeah, this is something. so I'm going to eat what I can. And then uh, whatever I can't eat, I'll put in a bowl. Reheat it again for tomorrow breakfast. Because I doubt if I'll get rid of all this. Mm. Let me tell you, the meat is really soft and chewy. Mm. Hasn't lost any of its flavour. It's been cooking for ages. Yeah. 
Tell you what though, I think the uh, if you're gonna if you're gonna copy this dish, I think it would be an idea to thaw all the vegetables out. Unfortunately, I, I sort of left it a bit late. I put them in frozen because that's what the chicken one uh, I did with that. I'm going to put it in the microwave just for a few minutes. Everything's hot. It's just the um, the broccoli and the cauliflower just needs to be heated up a bit more. Anyway, so if you've um, it doesn't take a whole lot of meat. In fact, the uh, I mean I I put one and a half um, gammon steaks in here. It doesn't take a lot of meat to make a big dinner like this. It uh, you know just need a certain amount. Just uh, you know. Next time I'll probably do a sausage one. Do the same thing with sausages. Anyway, there's a close up. This looks really good. And so it's just an idea of what you can do with a with a hot pot. Thank you for watching.